This is unprecedented. Unacceptable. A hierarch is dead, Commander. His murderer was within our grasp. If you had not withdrawn our phantoms... Are you questioning my decision? No, Holy One. I only wish to express my concern that the brutes... Recommissioning the Guard was a radical step. But recent events have made it abundantly clear that the elites can no longer guarantee our safety. I shall relay your decision to the Council. Politics, how tiresome. Do you know, Arbiter, the elites have threatened to resign, to quit the High Council, because of this exchange of hats. We have always been your protectors. These are trying times for all of us. Even as the human's annihilation filled us with satisfaction, the loss of one of the sacred rings racked our hearts with grief. Putting aside our sorrow, we renewed our faith in the prophecy that other rings would be found, and see how our faith has been rewarded. Halo! Its divine wind will rush through the stars, propelling all who are worthy along the path to salvation. But how to start this process? For ages we searched for one who might unlock the secrets of the ring. An oracle. And with your help, we found it. With appropriate humility, we plied the oracle with questions. And it, with clarity and grace, had shown us the key. You will journey to the surface of the ring and retrieve this sacred icon. With it, we shall fulfill our promise. Salvation for all! And begin the great journey. Once the shield is down, we will head straight to the library. I do not wish to keep the Hierarchs waiting. The human that killed the Prophet of Regret. Who was it? Who do you think? The demon is here? <laughs> Why? Looking for a little payback? Retrieving the icon is my only concern. <laughs> of course. Hi, this is Nemesis, and welcome to a Let's Play of Halo 2. We are doing the level Sacred Icon. So we're back as to being the Arbiter. Ooh, and we just, as we just witnessed, there's been a big shakeup with the Covenant Hierarchy. And here we're seeing one of the many Forerunner things. And kind of demonstrating how we're supposed to go through this level. And thank goodness there's no fall damage, or else I'd be screwed right now. Yeah, this, here it is again, just in case you didn't get it the first time. Anyway, those little pillar things. On the harder difficulties, you have to shoot the pillars to open them. I, I can't remember if it's heroic or not, but on legendary for sure. Anyway, those things, those spawn sentinels. And here I just shut showing that. You shoot them and they open. And you have to, I know for a fact you have to do it on Legendary. I can't remember if you'd have to do it or not on Heroic. It's been a while. But on Normal, you just have to press X to open it. Just like any other door. And here I pick up the Sentinel Beam. I had the opportunity to pick it up before, but I did not. It's, well, it's the beam that the Sentinels use. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, it's, it runs through battery pretty quickly. It's actually an okay weapon. Um, it's pretty good against floods. Usually. 
Not the best weapon in the world, but it gets the job done. That's the only problem, like I said, very goes through battery very quickly. So you have to constantly switch through these things. And those things, those, those big, those like those, those things, just keep spawning sentinels. And the, you can blow them up so they don't spawn them anymore. But still, it's just really annoying. Getting close to one of the shield generators. Many of my brutes have fallen attempting to take it down. Let's see if you fare better. Part of the problem. Oh, well, not part of the problem. Part of my problem is I think I stick around too long just just shooting these things when I I'm just kind of wasting time. Basically, because I'm trying to actually get my AI buddies to follow me. And they are kind of slow, so what happens is I wind up having to stick around just so these things blow up. Pretty sure this is the one and only time in the whole game where jackals are your allies. Because earlier there were no jackals on the heretic in the mission, Arbiter and Heretic missions, and after this I'm pretty sure you don't ever see him again as an ally. Yeah, I just remember with those pistons when I played it through on Legend. On the higher difficulty, I, like I said, camera reverse was on the far now, but I just remember being irritated that those pistons you had to use ammo to bring those down. That just irritated me to no end. I was like, what? But I need this ammo to shoot things. Trying to find the sentinel beam that bounced around. And the thing is, the grunts are slow. The jackals move pretty darn fast, but the grunts, well, are kind of slow. Hi ho, indeed. Yeah, usually, yeah, if you can do this fast enough, you can... Run away! Please! Don't make me go back! You can, if you're fast enough, yeah, you can stop this end from coming out, but... I was not. more and more irritated as he hears those grunts. I swear, he's the one person in the world I've met who does not like the grunts. Oh, there. Almost got my shield dropped again, like an idiot. Just because, hey, that explosion. Oh, wait. That explosion won't hurt me, right? Oh. Ow. And here I am just playing with the sentinel beam, just trying to get the one with the most ammo. See, the thing is, these guys are mostly a distraction because, to be honest, they don't survive much past here. Oh, that's an enforcer. Like I said, shield in the front. Yeah, he says use the attack in the front. On the higher difficulty, that's true. Yeah, that's that's good advice for the high difficulty. If on normal and easy, you can disregard that. Just start firing at the little arm things. Then here's more stuff you're supposed to shoot on the higher difficulties, but thankfully. You can just activate them. And yeah, since they, they register as enemies, so you're 
you will have that bullet auto aim kind of drag your reticle towards it. Here's a weird little thing. You activate this, um, yeah, you activate this platform and all these sentinel poles just blow up for no reason. Not sure what that's about, but I can't complain about that. This is one of the few times I actually got both grunts and both jackals here all here at the same time. Usually by now at least one of them's dead. Um there's our phantom. And there's to the something. Pick you up on the ledge ahead. So yeah, we're going back to the library, except on a different halo. Isn't that fun? Don't worry, this one is uh, a little quite a bit better than the higher library in the first one. Well mostly. And the flood's back. And yeah, so we're fighting flood and forerunner stuff at the same time. Fun. Really fun. Somehow I'm running through here with no shields and I survive all this. I don't know how I did that, but I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, Jackal died. All this stuff that Grunton died, so. Like I said, they just served as distractions. Uh, here's a different Sentinel Beam. These are the Golden Sentinels with shields and they have blue beams. These Sentinel Beams are slightly more powerful than the other ones. Oh, uh, here I'm derping around a bit trying to switch weapons because, hey, this is the first time you can use human weapons as the Arbiter. And then I realized I want to switch my carbine now, even though, yeah, early on in this level, yeah, carbine's really good. Later on, this part, it's kind of, you don't really need it anymore, so I'm trying to yeah, switch up for a sentinel beam. I'm trying to find a one I dropped, so, but couldn't, so I just decided to go ahead and just kill another sentinel. Yeah, this combination, in lieu of a shotgun and a sword, this combination actually works pretty well against the Flood. Actually, I've just noticed in general, in this game, hit human weapons tend to work better than the Flood. Oh, and here there's supposed to be a little fight, but you move fast enough like I did, you can just skip it. Although the carbine actually was... I can't, I, I can't even ever remember if it's carbine or carbine. I've heard it pronounced both ways, so I have no idea, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Actually, yeah, that gun is pretty good against Flood, too. You just gotta aim, like, in the center cavity, because not headshot. Those are technically headshots, even though you're not shooting in the head. What you're shooting at is the Flood Spore in the center, I guess. That's the idea. So it's kind of your first instinct to go for the head, but like, no, that doesn't do squat. Proceed and finally got a shotgun, so I can abandon all the uh, 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 anyway. Get her off me! Suppressive fire! Suppressive fire! And we just saw Marine die. So yeah, humans are here too, which is why we're having able to get human weapons and some human flood. And there's a covenant, or not covenant, flood with a shotgun, which is never good because the shotgun. I don't know what it is, but nine times out of ten, the AI will beat you if they have a shotgun. You have a shotgun. Yeah, if you both have a shotgun, there's a good chance that the flood guy will be able to time his shots better than you can. Something well, probably better than I can. I'm probably just obsessed with that. But and also, though, sometimes I swear I pull the trigger, and then I hear the shot, and then I hear their shot. Mine doesn't do anything, and. Yeah, that was weird. I just kind of jumped out on one foot. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, this part can get a little bit ridiculous just because of the sheer amount of flood bodies that the infection forms keep jumping back into. And right here, oh my god, I just, there were so many times, I don't know what happened, but I had to record this level three times because for whatever reason it just kept going out of sync. 
No matter what I did, this level just kept dropping out of dropping everything just kept dropping out of sync. I can't explain it. I don't know what happened. I didn't change anything. It's just this level in particular. I was having problems with every other level recorded perfect. Every other one. This one just can it just kind of found it weird that all three times, all three times, it's like all, twice, two first times I attempted to record this, it just kept freaking out. But this time, it find, I was kind of getting concerned, but this time it recorded pretty much fine, although I noticed frame rate drops. I, though I think this is the game, not the recorder. I'm not totally certain on that. mention how much I love the shotgun. Because the shotgun is awesome. The only problem is the Halo shot sh two shotgun, they just kinda goofed it up by making this random scatter pattern that was not always good. Like there are times you'll see this I probably already have too that where you know, I'll shoot something point blank and I barely even affect it. But other times I'm like like ten feet away and it's fine and it like tears them apart. Like I said, the shotgun in Halo 2 was really random. Thankfully, they fixed that. It was still fun to use. Oh, here I do with the button glitching again. The thing about this level... Uh, this level is... Uh, I'm not really too fond of this level. Right here, the sacred icon level. It's just for me, it's very. It's okay, I guess. It's it depends. Like right there, see that this that 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 flood just just kept surviving my shots for no real reason. But anyway, this level I don't really enjoy it too much. To me, it just kind of feels like it just and there again, flood just tries a point blank shot. But this level just feels like it just kind of drags for me. I'm not really that fond of it. Always feels like a go. Even though it's actually not that long a level, it feels longer than it actually is. I'm not really fond of it. I like to get through it as fast as possible. This is probably one of the. To me, this is probably one of the weaker moments in Halo 2. It's one of the weaker levels. Although the level after this quarantine zone, I enjoy like the first two thirds or I get two thirds, three quarters of it, but then the last bit is not as a slog that I hate going through. Negative, ma'am. They are not covenant. Cover that doorway. Usually there's more flood here. I was surprised. I was ran through here expecting a whole bunch of. Usually about right here you start seeing covenant flood, but. This time there weren't that they were either all on the other side of the room and they just didn't spawn right. But I wasn't gonna complain about that. On here I go ahead and look at the map painting. It's really, really nice map painting background they did. You see that's supposed to be the library, I guess. And I think there's some sort of forerunner ship. I'm not sure. I never exactly knew exactly what those things were. Oh. I love this part. I just like the music here. And I was... When I got the soundtrack, I was so disappointed this was not part of it. But then they... Came out volume 2 and this was on and I was so happy. Cause I like this part. I don't know why. Because these these darn flood just keep getting right back up. Because there's all these infection forms just hiding about, and then can't seem to ever get them all. I'm running low on ammo, so you 
my problem. At this point, I'm like, you know what? I got four shots left. I'm grabbing the sword and failing. And another big fall. Very big fall. So find the, oh, levels out. And then we see something pretty cool. 100,000 year war. Yeah, you can see that thing, it's like, yeah, it's going down. The flood got it good. Anyway. Now I got a rocket launcher. Okay, yeah, once again, gotta be careful with flood with rocket launchers. You gotta be very careful with flood with rocket launchers. Very careful. Because they have a tendency to fire point blank. Still. And you gotta be careful with your allies, believe it or not. They will kill you if they hit you. And I know this from first hand experience. Yeah, I'm waiting for a dialogue to trigger, and then finally. Be praised, the Arbiter. This quarantine zone has been compromised. We must do what we can against the flood. Our commander has landed further in. Let us join him. And more flood. Fun. Including that with the rocket launcher, which I, you know, decided it was probably a good idea to take him out quick. I almost die again. It's kind of weird. You can, this is part of the level Sacred Icon, but you can actually come back in this little area again in the level, the next level, Quarantine Zone. So yeah, there's intersecting areas, which is not surprising for this. Yeah, all these levels that like take place one right after another, there are intersecting areas. Well, I'm not outskirts in the top list, so they don't really intersect. Yeah, and there's the blood of the rocket launcher again. Trying to find him. Found him. Or something. Or one of them. Hey, it's Hapcha. Arbiter, what are you doing here? The flood is upon us. We must hold this camp until reinforcements. So yeah, I know his name. Well, I don't know his name. I just know he has a proper name. I can never remember what it actually is. Because elite names are weird. I cut it down. And you're supposed to sit here and defend until the dropship arrives. Which I've noticed is random. There's sometimes this little bit, this little defense area, is like lasts for a good while. Other times it's over pretty quickly. Like this time, it actually wound up being over pretty quick. I was surprised. Hear that? There's the Phantom. It's coming in and it's shooting. So, this is the end of the level. So, once again, I'm Nemesis, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.